Eamon is someone who played the sport during the golden years of Super League. Bradford versus Leeds at Oddsall doesn't really need any introduction, does it? No, no, I'm really looking forward to it. It's uh, it's going to be great. I hope the, the fans get involved and, and we can get it close to it, sell out for us as, as we possibly can. So I, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. My first one is the, the Bulls head coach. Um, I know how, how highly everyone regards this, this type of game and obviously they don't get to play each other a lot, so it's going to be a good one. I know pre-season is all about performance on the field rather than the scoreboard and the result, but with this game, it means that much more to supporters, to players. Um, are you going to prepare for this one differently? Yeah, but not not because it's Leeds. Um, obviously, you know the the anticipation of that game co just comes with that anyway. But we're we're solely focusing on on performance. One thing that I want this week to feel is probably different to a to a pre-season week. We're a fortnight off our first competitive game, so I want the the players to feel a bit of a difference with how the week runs. Um, probably more in terms of like preparing. So we'll have a little bit more detail in our meetings and just in terms of what we do on the field. So hopefully there'll be an element of freshness in terms of what we do this week in training and it'll give the lads the best opportunity to prepare the best they can. I know we're talking on the Tuesday leading into the game, but, but what sort of side can the supporters expect to see on, on Sunday afternoon? Yeah, strong side, competitive, you know, we've I think we've been really smart and, and you know, some have been forced in terms of what, what selections we've made over you know our pre-season we've had this will be our fourth trial game so obviously some lads have, have missed out so we'll try and go with our with our most competitive team for the start but still lads will get an opportunity as well what's your message to those those players obviously i'm kind of guessing it is the final pre-season game um and this is sort of like one last chance one last chance to impress before obviously the real stuff starts against Jewsbury next week yeah, exactly that. You know, I've not made my mind up with the coaching team what what the kind of team looks like against Dewsbury. There's there's some dead certs in there, obviously, but there are places up for grabs. So, for them to be excited, it's an opportunity for them to to put the best foot forward. And I hope they go out there with a smile on the face and compete. Is that something you've communicated to the players, Aim, and that that starting seventeen next week against Dewsbury? There's still some vacant shirts there. No, but it will be the message this week. Um, obviously, the lads had some time off over the weekend because, like a alluded to before we've, we've played a lot of games so I think it was important they had an opportunity to spend some time with the families but yeah that'll be my message today um, you know it's not just in terms of the game as well it's, it's in our preparation how we're training uh, and how we're going there so yeah, I'm excited to see how, how they respond to that. In terms of the health of the squad obviously we know Jordan Baldwinson is on his way back from injury um, what's the latest with Dan Moss and, and Ben Blackmore who I do believe were the the injured people from that last game against LFC? Yeah, so Ben's okay, he, he's back in fully training, we just have to monitor what he does so he doesn't flare up again, so it's a lesson for us there. In terms of Dan, yeah, it's not looking good for the lad, we'll um, we'll get more news on that tonight when we speak to the doctor, but he's been great for us, Dan, and we'll do what we can to support him. In terms of, obviously, Dan and Elliot, is it still too early to to say making a call on, on their trials becoming permanent? No, no, I don't think so. I think we'll, we'll, we'll get to a decision within the week. I think they've, they've both been fantastic. I've said it on a number of occasions. They're first and foremost great, great lads. You know, they've they brought a, a fantastic attitude. They train really hard and they're, they're willing to learn and they want to play for Bradford, which is, which is refreshing. It's really nice. So, um, yeah, look, we'll, a decision will be made on them probably within the week. We're three games into to pre-season. When you reflect on those games against Halifax, Hull, Hull FC, um, and Feverston. Feverston, yes, there we go. Um, Good job, I'm switched. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Um, I was, I was just saying, Emma, when you when you look at Halifax, Feverston, and Hull FC, and obviously you must have that mental preparation of where you want the side to be. How far away is it, or how close is it to where you expected the Bradford Bulls to be? Oh, look, I think it's an ongoing process. I, I really do. You know, there's. Uh, I do think it's difficult when a new coach comes in. Obviously, I brought I brought new ideas. There's been lads that have been here for a long time. We've recruited, I think, four it is off the top of my head, uh, six including the two trialists. So there's that little bit of freshness, and we're all learning. I'm getting to know the group. They're getting to know me. I think we're on the right path. Are we a million miles off? I don't think so, but we're certainly not at the the point where I'd like us to be. But I knew that coming in. It won't happen just overnight. As long as we keep making little improvements, you know, we'll we'll be where we want to be at the right time of the year. Just moving back to Leeds, I'm kind of guessing you'll start with your strongest side and probably very similar to how pre-season pass have gone in and your strongest sort of 17 will, will be out there or, or certainly your strongest 13 
will be out there for that for that first half. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's what we'll use the game for, and I think we'll we'll probably look to play 22, 23 players over the weekend. So lads will still get an opportunity as well. It's just about us as the coaching staff realizing what we want to get out of the game. If we feel like we've got that, we'll we'll make some changes. But this is key in our preparation for the start of the season. Have you spoken to Rowan Smith ahead of the game? What his expectations are to get out of this friendly? What what the lead side's going to look like? No. No, no. I think we just focus on us. On us. Um, you know, regardless of what opposition they they turn out, they could be with their starting thirteen. What they would start the season with, or they could play a, a load of uh, academy lads, reserve lads. One thing they'll be is highly competitive, and you know they'll want to win and they'll want to perform. They'll have the same objectives as, as us. There were some players in there who, who were probably fighting for a shirt. So I think it's going to be a, a great game. But we're we're solely focusing on us. I'm kind of guessing if Brody Croft's on the team sheet and the Ackers, then it's a good chance to see where your side are against a very good, capable Super League team. Yeah, absolutely. Two, two quality players, and I think they've got quality throughout the squad, haven't they? So, yeah, again, um, you know, like I said, if, they, if they're playing everyone outside their, their top 20, they'll still be very competitive. We'll fo solely focus on us. I know this is a reoccurring question, Eamon, but um, can we expect, or can Bradford Bulls supporters expect, any new faces uh, arriving this week or or into next week? Uh, look, we're, we're we're looking, we are, but uh, like I say, every week, you know, it's it's an ongoing process. We want to make sure that we bring the the right person in and make sure that they add quality to the to the group. So it, it's not something that we'll just rush into. Um, it'd be nice if we did, but I'm not expecting anyone new to be here in the next couple of weeks. But certainly throughout the season, yeah. Sunday gone, you was at Huddersfield uh, against Dewsbury. Aidan McGowan featured. Uh, in that game, your thoughts on his performance and is he back this week? He is back this week, yeah, I thought Aidan did really well, he's been really impressive since he's come, uh, he's probably a credit there to, to Huddersfield, I knew that he was going back for that game and I think it was right as well, he spent the week with them, uh, I think it was in Portugal where they went, you know, when lads come here on dual registration, you know, we want to help develop them as well and it's really important that there's a process in, in place for them so they go back to their clubs if they do a, a better player and that was one thing that I spoke to Ian Watson about, he was always going to go on that camp and then play in this game so I was impressed with him, I was shocked when I seen him play hooker but impressed as well, he, uh, <laughs> he did well so uh, good on him but we're looking forward to spending some time with him this week. The fact that you've seen him at nine, that was another question I was going to ask him and does that like perhaps... Uh, Open your eyes a little bit. That is that utility value now there. Yeah, there is, but no, we won't. We don't see him playing nine for us. No, we're happy with uh, with Mitch and Flano for the time being.